we have pretty good tools to be able to do their job to a very large extent. However, there are a few challenges as far as the implementation of the program is concerned. And in my view, we need to address these challenges in order to reap the full benefits of the program uh, as has been designed. Uh, many of these programs have different goals. Uh, some are uh, targeting the elimination of these diseases by interrupting transmission. Some are aiming at just controlling the disease to uh, the barest, uh, I mean the lowest levels of transmission so that the uh, impact in terms of disease causation and pain and suffering can be brought down. Uh, however, the implementation process has had some challenges. We are working through a health system uh, that is sometimes non-existent in some places and uh, in some places very rudimental. These are some of the things that are, uh, may not necessarily require a medical approach. Uh, we need some uh, approaches based on uh, human behavior uh, and that is where social scientists and medical anthropologists and all those uh, uh, expertise uh, would have to bring their expertise to bear on the program. And I think also uh, when you are uh, delivering a, a program and you have a monitoring and evaluation system in place, uh, you should be able to stand back and look and ask yourself, uh, am I on course? Is everything going on right? If not, do we need to change a strategy? Or do we need to introduce uh, another intervention to help us uh, get to the uh, end point much quicker? I think these are issues that we need to, to ask questions about. We are on track in terms of uh, reducing the burden of disease, the burden of parasitemia in these communities. But we could do it much better and much faster if we brought all the uh, resources, both human and material, and harness them properly. And I think that is what we really need to do.